Good morning everyone. Uh, this is my project wireless sensor network. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is I have a couple of wireless sensor temperature sensors um, which are connected to two XP radios configured as routers. Um, I have a coordinator uh, XP radio or a base station um, which is connected to the Arduino <coughs> Mega. Uh, the Arduino Mega has a Ethernet shield um, which enables internet uh, access of course. Um, I also have a Raspberry Pi uh, board in there um, on which I'm running uh, Raspbian DB OS um, which is basically a small platform on which uh, I have configured an OS. Um, so what I'm doing in this project is um, I'm collecting uh, data from the different sensors that I have. Oh, I forgot to mention that uh, I have a DHT22 uh, temperature and humidity sensor as well. Um, along with that, I also have a barometric uh, pressure sensor uh, which returns the pressure and uh, altitude, va altitude values of the environment as well. So what I'm doing, um, I'm collecting data from different sensors. I'm uploading them onto the MySQL server, which I have configured on my uh, Raspberry Pi. Um, so here I will be uploading uh, the code to Arduino. Um, once the code is uploaded onto Arduino, we shall see um, what happens in the Arduino serial monitor as well as the SQL server. So the loading takes a little bit of time because uh, the code is pretty big and uh, the Arduino Mega has limited processing power. It has a 128 bit uh, uh, chip on it. So it, it takes a little bit of time. So our code is done uploading. Now um, I shall check on the serial monitor uh, what is happening. Uh, the serial monitor is used to analyze uh, what happens in the Arduino code at each instance. Um, so right now it is trying to connect to the MySQL server which I have configured on the Raspberry Pi. Um, this takes a little bit of time because uh, there is a little bit of delay because uh, it has to authenticate, the MySQL server has to authenticate the connection request from the Arduino. Um, the credentials have to be met and then finally once it connects uh, it starts writing the sensor data um, into the databases so once it connects uh, I'll show you what happens uh, in the database so as you can see here uh, it connected to my SQL server and it is starting to record uh, sensor data and uh, the insert into that's my MySQL server uh, let's see what's happening on the MySQL server. Um, over here, uh, these are a bunch of values that I've already recorded. So this is the table for uh, my temperature and humidity sensor. Um, these are a bunch of values that I've been recording over time. Um, let me scroll up to indicate which column is storing which value. Um, okay uh, so give me one second okay so this column is temperature and the last column is humidity now I'm gonna query this database and see whether the values have been updated so that's my um, SQL database for my temperature and humidity sensor um, as you can see from 868 it's become 878 10 values have been added uh, one more value got added. Now let's look at what's happening uh, with the other uh, database. Uh, this database is to monitor the wireless sensor nodes and to figure out what values are coming in. So as you can see in this database uh, I'm receiving values from one of the sensors. Um, see here there are 158 values currently. Um, let's see what's happening in the other one. So as you can see the data uh, is being recorded and added continuously um, to the database.
This is my uh, sensor database for storing the values from the BMP085 pressure sensor. Uh, as you can see right now I have about 86 rows uh, and uh, it's continuously updating. So there are two columns in this table. Uh, one of them is uh, pressure and the other one is relative altitude. The relative altitude is just a binary value which returns zero if the altitude value is uh, received correctly and uh, returns one if as you can see there are negative uh, altitude values or there's some issue with the sensor so this is updating uh, as we speak uh, so I have a SQL app which can be used to query the databases to return sensor information um, that connects to my SQL server uh, you can save the queries that you want uh, so that uh, you know you don't have to type all of it again so right now I have three queries one for the humidity sensor one for the pressure sensor and the other one is the temperature sensor uh, let's query the humidity sensor first um, so as you can see here it returns value stored in my um, humidity sensor database uh, the other one is uh, my pressure sensor um, it was a BMP 085 so this will return values uh, stored in the pressure sensor database and the last one is my temperature sensor which are my wireless sensors um, so again um, it returns the database values and can be constantly refreshed to find out uh, what's happening in the database the best part about this app is that uh, you can edit your database uh, you can add new tables and basically do anything that you would do with a mysql client installed on a computer